Uh... Hi everyone, Bethany Koftano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Otoboke Beaver record, uh, Super Champin. This is the second full-length LP from Japanese punk rock quartet, Otoboke Beaver, a band that rocked my world back in 2019 with the release of their Itekoma Hits LP, a short but thrilling project packed with these fusions of hardcore and garage punk, topped with infectious bright group vocal routines that made many of their songs just instantly catchy. The thing about that project, though, is that it also worked as a compilation of much of the material the band had recorded and written up until that point, but it still painted a very cohesive and accurate picture of Otoboke Beaver's chaotic performance style, their standout hooks, their intense ferocity, as well as the thematic focus their lyrics put on stuff like oppressive gender roles and toxic romantic dynamics. Now, their new LP here, in many ways, is like a first proper Otoboke Beaver record with all new and original material. The band essentially creating now with full knowledge of who they are and artistically what they're about. So as a result of that, it's no surprise that they seemingly lean even harder into what made them so special as a band in the first place. Their speed, their brevity, I believe their last album was like 14 tracks and was just over 26 minutes in length. Uh, this one has 18 tracks and is uh, just over 21 minutes. Also, the band's love-hate relationship with love, as well as their opinions on gender roles, are made even more apparent on songs like I Am Not Maternal, I Won't Dish Out Salads, as well as Leave Me Alone, No Stay With Me, and also Who Can Forget You're No Hero, Shut Up, Fuck You, Man Whore. The band is still obviously working with the incredible wit and sense of humor that painted their last record, which is also made apparent on the song I Put My Love To You in a Song Jazz Rack, which stands for the Japanese Society for Rights of Authors, Composers, and Publishers. So basically toying with the idea of copywriting this grand gesture of love and romance. And yeah, the band has some opinions on that, if you couldn't already tell from the screen background vocals of Song from you! Song for money! So the band's amazing vocal dynamics off the last LP are still at play here, of course, but present in an even more unhinged way with some of the garage rock influences melting away in favor of more noise rock chaos, like the breathless shouts and screams of why, 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 why? on I Checked Your Cell Phone, which eventually lead to these really twisted, dissonant kind of alien vocal harmonies that are absolutely strange. The flurries of distorted guitar strumming behind them only making the madness more intense. There's also all of the rapid-fire ranting on top of I Won't Dish Out Salads that I mentioned earlier. I'd also like to mention the opening riff on this track is clearly a, a very loving tribute to the classic Dead Kennedy song, California Uber Alice, and uh, I actually sent the track to Mr. Jello Biafra for himself, and he seemed to think so too. There's also the emotionally volatile and intense back and forth going on with a leave me alone, no, stay with me. So yeah, with this LP, the volume and intensity, and in some cases the speed, has definitely increased, which I am surprised about because the band was already going so fucking hard on their last record, but they still managed to pull off an incredible level of tightness and uh, even get some really catchy ideas to translate through these blistering tracks, like the dance grooves and cheerleader chants all over Yakitori, or the snarky but snappy lead vocals that kick off the opening track, I Am Not Maternal, which had this very kind of classic, well, well, like uh, punk vocal affectation to them. The song Don't Call Me Mojo has some of the catchiest refrains on this record as well, uh, but while I am very impressed by the smidges of pop appeal the band is able to work into these tracks, there's also something to be said for the sheer rage displayed on cuts such as uh, George and Janice, as well as the song Dirty Old Fart is Waiting for My Reaction. There are only maybe a few spots on this LP where the playing comes off a tad bit loose, or the vocals uh, come through in, in a, bit of, a bit of a buried fashion in the mix, like the first leg of Nabe Party with Pocket Brothers. I will say the track list on this thing is a little lopsided as well. There are a number of songs here that uh, barely even touch 20 seconds with the vast majority of the tracks on this LP, uh, rounding out at under two minutes, which, I mean, is fine generally. What hardcore punk record doesn't have very short tracks on it? But with that being said, a majority of these 
uh, briefer moments kind of compile toward the end of the album for some reason. And it does throw off the flow of things a little bit, even if the track Let's Shopping After Show is a very cute way to end things. But yeah, overall I thought this was another great kick in the face from Otoboke Beaver. The flow could be better and maybe the band did just lose a very, very tiny touch of accessibility with this record sounding even crazier than their last. But I still think the increased rage and intensity is a good trade-off, and I think the vast majority of the band's original appeal uh, translated onto this LP anyway. Some of their best songs and performances to date are on this record, and I would say with two really fantastic albums under their belt at this point, is Otoboke Beaver not one of the best modern punk bands that Japan has to offer right now? I most definitely think so. I'm feeling a decent too strong eight on this thing. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Otoboke Beaver, uh, forever.